guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick, and you're watching Gas Tax. During the last six months, while I was building my R32, I really wanted to get hands-on experience with all of my garage tools. That way, I can help you figure out how you can build your ultimate dream garage at all different price points. I have cabinets ranging from $6,000, $1,200, and then $2,400. It doesn't look cool, all different cabinets in my garage, but the reason I did this is to give you guys first-hand experience on which cabinet set to buy, and which tools, and then which wall organization system to buy. Here in all these boxes is the new Omni Wall Wall Organizer. I'm sure if you found this video, it's because you've been dealt an ad by Omni Wall. So as you can see behind me, I don't have any wall organizing right now other than a couple nails and there's plenty of things I still need to organize. Let me show you what all came with this kit. So there are four big boxes and one uh, tube there. This kit is the Omni Wall Weekend Warrior XL. It right now is on sale for $679.99. I'll put a picture on the screen right now of what the kit all looks like. All right guys, as you can see, this is the Weekend Warrior XL kit and it can fit a ton of tools and comes in many different colors. If you're looking to save some money in your first order, be sure to check out the link below. Let's get unboxing. Let's take a look at what all came in the XL Weekend Warrior Kit. So lots of parts. And I must say, this is all packaged very well. Not a scratch on any of these. The boxes are nice and thick boxes. So they know what they're doing with packaging. For the most part, I don't like one thing about the packaging, which is these uh, little clips here are loose in each of the bags and the bags aren't really sealed that well so i could see that being a problem one of my panels here came without a well two of them came without a bag of clips i don't know if that's going to be a problem but i'm just giving you my review as it stands right now the reason i bought the xl weekend warrior kit was not so i could set it up just like the picture included i figured it was best to buy that kit because it had the most parts and I could see and learn from that kit what I actually wanted. So I'm not going to do it up like the image. What I am going to do is play around with all these parts, figure out how many panels go in the back there, how many panels go there, do I want anything on this wall, and that way I can place a second order with the more specific things I need. Another cool thing that I did see on the website is you can make custom size back plates. So without further ado, let's do some tinkering. Now let me show you what I'm working with because I learned some things that I did not know before. Here are the different size panels. You get 16 by 32, 32 by 16, 16 by 16, and 48 by 5. A big problem with all of those sizes, yes I can make custom sizes, is none of these backgrounds fit anywhere near those dimensions. So what I'm going to do is use all the stuff I have, but I'll show you how. So I want to get rid of these shelves. I'm going to put one, one of those right there, another one right there. This is empty space right now. I'm going to vertically stack these on here so I can have my drills and my hand tools here. That way I can easily access. I'll put two boards on the back there. There will be a white border around the whole area, unfortunately. And then three along here. And the reason you have to have these sides exposed, the top and bottom, which I did not know, is, and I'm sure you could know this if you just watch their videos online, but I like to do everything how I like to do it. Uh, you have to, these wall brackets, 
obviously go on the wall here. And then these holes are what you put these little clips into here to secure the panel to the wall bracket. So let's jump into installing this wall panel. So these panels are 32 inches long, uh, 16 inches tall. Uh, there are two brackets for three panels, so that works out perfectly. And there is a top bracket and a bottom bracket. The top bracket has this little notch in it and the bottom one does not. I bought this laser level like three years ago. I moved into two houses since then, so granted I've had to hang a lot of things. Um, but I would highly, highly recommend it. I'll leave a link below. The one complaint is this uh, tripod is too short. Uh, you can easily go buy another tripod for another 30 bucks that's taller. But I've always figured out a way how to figure it out. It's self-leveling. So as soon as you get the height you want, you let it uh, calm down shaking it and then it's perfect. I actually use this level to hang all of the cabinets in here. Uh, so I would recommend that. But anyways, back to the project. So now I've got my level there. I'm gonna do a four inch border on the top, a four inch on the bottom of just the background, and then an eight inch and an eight inch on each side. So let's get to hanging these. Um, unfortunately, I let my brother my stud finder before this uh, pandemic. Hopefully I have another one. <laughs> I'm gonna find the stud finders. One cool thing is OmniWall came with all of these drywall uh, mounts. So let's jump into that. bracket back up there and as luck would have it again I hit three studs and cracked three of the drywall so if you don't have a stud finder don't worry you will hit studs so let's hang up these uh, panels here and see what it looks like alrighty guys well there we have it they are not clipped in yet but they just rest there perfectly. Honestly, I don't think they really need to be clipped in, but let's figure out how the clips go. So they are simple push clips that just push in the hole, and then uh, once this goes down, it spreads. If you were to stack the panels, this panel on top of another, there's a double-sided one, and also a separate hole for this. Let's see if we can line it up and get it in. All right, so if you did your measuring right, obviously these holes would line up uh, with each other there. Once you find a hole here, this one will automatically be in line for a hole. So I'll do, I think, four clips per panel here, but uh, you start with one, because now there's this gap here. Uh, you can join these. There's no reason to, because it will be secure at the top and the bottom. Uh, but let's clip this one on and then Squish these all together so it's all nice. Well guys, here it is. Nicely and securely installed. Nice little uh, board around the, the sides of it. Um, ideally, I wanted the whole back panel uh, filled, but as you can tell with this system, you can't actually get those in. Unless you do some really great measurement, <laughs> measuring, install this first and then put the cabinets over it, uh, you can't do what I initially wanted to do. Let's uh, hang some accessories. Well guys, that's it for part one of the OmniWall uh, series here. So, as you can see, pretty straightforward assembly. I do think it will provide a much cleaner look than what you saw me have in the beginning. But next part, I will be uh, showing you exactly how I finalize this setup here. And then I'll also be installing these two panels above here, these two panels vertical here, and then individually these two panels where these shelves are. So thanks again for tuning in. If you have any questions about the OmniWall organization system, 
uh, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. I'll see you then.